For this next action, I want to switch it up a little. Um, I want to take all this information that we're gathering from the browser and from the web page that we're on, and I want to use it to generate a card or an image um, using Banner Bear. Um, if you're not familiar with Banner Bear, it is a great way to um, generate images from an API call with values that you've put into it. So here in Banner Bear, I've got a really simple template. Um, the basic idea is I want a page title and a URL up top, and then down below, side by side, I've got a description and the image. Um, so the only field we're not using uh, right now is our notes field, but I wanna generate a card uh, from this. And uh, I'm not gonna go into all the details of Banner Bear, um, but basically, you know, I've got a layer for each of these. And the way that the Banner Bear API works is you post a set of JSON um, that contains what you want those uh, fields to be filled with. So what you want your title to be, your URL, your image, and so on. Um, so I'm just gonna be using the Banner Bear API to make a simple call and generate that image. And then I wanna update um, my Chrome extension view to show that image and the URL to the user. So let's start by adding our button. So I'm gonna uh, duplicate our Integra map button and rename this generate banner bear image. Again, I've got a style I wanna to apply to this, uh, just a yellow button. And now when this button is clicked, I wanna trigger a new flow. And I'm gonna call this generate banner bear image. Now, uh, again, I wanna set a value on this button so that I can give the user some feedback to tell them that this is being um, sent to banner bear. So I'm gonna use element set value on our uh, generate banner bear image button. And I'm gonna set the value to generating dot, dot, dot. So I pasted in uh, my API endpoint step. Again, I won't go into all the details of banner bear, but I'm sending it um, my page title, my uh, URL, my image, and my description and just sending those to the API. Um, and then on my uh, page, I'm setting a response or setting a variable called banner bear response that I'll use to pull this information in. I'm also gonna add the timer step that we used before um, so that after a second, um, I can uh, go to the next step. The way that banner bears API works is you make the call to generate the image and then you have to make another call to get that image uh, once it's been generated. So that's what I'm gonna use uh, the timer step for. And for this, uh, what I wanna do is create a flow called get generated banner bear image. And this will be the flow that actually retrieves the image uh, from banner bear. So my timer is going to trigger that get generated banner bear image flow. And we're gonna trigger this after about three seconds. I think in my testing with the banner bear API, it's usually available in one or two seconds, but um, just to be safe, I'm gonna set it to three and trigger that flow. So now if we go into that flow, um, we wanna set up a few steps here. We want to make the call to retrieve the uh, image from banner bear that was generated. But then I also want to um, update my view here in the Chrome extension to display that um, image somewhere. So we're actually gonna need to go back into our layout and let's add another image. And you know what I'll do actually is I'll duplicate the image that we're using for our web page, and I'll call this one banner bear image. And let's move this down uh, below the banner bear button. So we've got an image and I also want to include 
the banner bear URL. So I'm going to duplicate the URL that I'm using for the web page, and I'll call this banner bear URL. All right, so now we have an image and a URL that we can use. Um, and the display text for this will just be empty because I don't actually need it to show until I have uh, an image to display. All right, so got an image, got a URL. Um, let's go set up our uh, action now. Okay, so I pasted in a uh, flow or an action, I should say, into my flow for get generated banner bear image. And what this does is it makes a call to the banner bear API. Um, and what I'm passing is a UID that I received uh, from my banner bear response. So it's the banner bear response variable um, that we generated earlier. Sorry, banner bear response variable. And I just added a path for UID. Again, this is specific to the Banner Bear API, but it's a unique ID that tells it which image I want to pull. Um, and that's really that's really it. I'm setting the response um, into a variable called Banner Bear Image um, that I can then use in the next step to populate uh, populate the image. So let's do that now. So let's add an action for set value and uh, the element that we want to set the value into is our new banner bear image URL. I'm sorry, our banner bear image element. And the value is going to be from a variable. And it's this new one we just created called banner bear image. Um, this is the variable that was returned from the uh, API. And I can now set that into the image. I also want to set uh, the value of uh we go set value i want to set the value of that url uh text so we have this text element banner bear url from a variable and i'm going to use the same variable um, and set that and then last thing i want to do is update the button so if you remember um, we had set a value to change it to generating it's this uh, generate banner bear image button. We set the value to generating before. Now that it's done at this step, I just want to say generated. So now once this flow runs through, it will pull that information, display it, and change the button to say generated. One step I forgot is just setting the path um, on this variable. So I want to use the banner bear image variable but I wanna make sure that the path is set to image URL. Again, specific to the Banner Bear API, but I know that that's the object that is, is um, where this image URL is stored. So I'm gonna set that and let's test it. All right, back on builder.com. Let's open our web clipper. We see the new generate Banner Bear image. Um, now what I'm expecting this to do is populate this template that I've created um, in Banner Bear with the page information. So let's click generating, should be three seconds. Switches to generated and now we see our custom image and here's the URL for it. And I can actually take this URL and pop it into the browser. And there we see it. Um, so it generated our image, it updated our Chrome extension view so that we can see the image here. And it changed the button to say generated. So let's try it on a couple other sites just to make sure it works how we expect. So we'll go back to Stripe, open our web clipper, generate. And there we go. We see Stripe generated. And let's also do Gumroad. All right, and there we go. So uh, now we've got a pretty functional Chrome extension. Um, we're generating this image based off of what's on the page. And you can start to imagine how you could um, even link these together. 
we could um, connect our flows in a way where we generate an image from this web page, and then this image URL that gets uh, generated, we could send that to Zapier or send that to Integromat and trigger workflows off of that, or we could save that into Airtable. Um, so we have multiple options here, and we can sort of start to extend the functionality of this, uh, of this extension, which is pretty cool. Um, so now we've got um, you know, most of our extension built. The last thing I wanna do is I want to give the users um, a way to reposition the extension on the page and um, dictate you know, which part of the page it's on. So in the next step, we'll add a settings view. It'll be the second page of our um, extension. And we'll just make a, a simple settings view with some options for them to change it. 